All right, hello everybody. I uh, delivered a lecture on Friday and I wanted to send you a quick video to reinforce a few points that I didn't think were clearly communicated on Friday. So the three points are the definitions of black and gray body, the e what is emissivity and the in a gray body, and then the uh, emissivity in actual surfaces, and then three, the use of our Q-dot equation and stepping ahead to interaction between surfaces. So first of all, a, a black body is not black. The sun, for example, is a perfect black body. It, it, it absorbs everything and then re-emits. A gray body is, is instead of following Planck's equation, we're going to have a radiation profile that's some fra constant fraction of Planck's equation. We call that the gray body approximation. With an actual uh, surface, we're going to have uh, radiation that's a function of wavelength, and that's going to be among other things. And so you might get, for example, something like this, where the emissivity is a function of wavelength. So black body, gray body approximation, and actual surface. Black bodies, not black. Okay? So the next thing was to reinforce the uh, emissivity value. So Actually, I provided you, but then didn't speak to it, a table of emissivity values taken from the book, from typical surfaces. So you're going to have some value in emissivity, and then whatever is uh, left is the fraction of radiation that's reflected from that surface. So what's, what's emitted and what's refracted? So if you look at the table that I provided, that'll give you an idea, and you can see general tendencies where polished surfaces are lighter. Also, I provided a couple of schematics showing how emissivity can actually also be a function of the radiation direction. So if I look at a surface from an angle, what is coming off that is different per unit area than if I was looking at it perpendicularly. And you can study examples for uh, non-conductive surfaces and conductive surfaces, again, taken from your book. Finally, I wanted to reinforce the final equation we developed which was this Q dot expression as a function of area, gray body approximation, emissivity, Stefan Boltzmann constant, and absolute temperature to the fourth. Because what we're going to do is extend that equation to start thinking about how surfaces interact. For example, your face in the sun, separated by 90 million miles, but each of them has a temperature and is emitting radiation. And what we're going to do next time is to say, okay, this is how it is for one surface, but now we're going to think, okay, where is that radiation going? Sometimes it'll go to another surface, sometimes it'll go elsewhere. The sun, for example, warms your face, it also warms Pluto. So we're going to pick it up from there. Apologize one last time for a poor lecture on Friday. Please watch this video uh, maybe twice before next Friday's. A uh, week from Friday's lecture, and we will be rocking radiation. Have a great week. Thank you.